Well, I got something very interesting here. It turns out that the Jesuit Illuminati, Pope Francis, is actually trying to yoke up once again with the atheist, communistic country of China, which is also obviously Jesuitical ran as well. Because obviously China, uh, communism is Jesuitical. Co uh, communism is Illuminati, uh, Jesuit doctrine, when you get down to the, the gist of the whole thing. Let me, read, let me read this article. This is on the National Catholic Register. It says, Pope Francis says he hopes Vatican-China deal will be renewed. The Vatican-China agreement was first signed in September of 2018 and then renewed for almost two years in October uh, 2020, basically yoking up with the atheist communists over in China, which also atheism goes right in hand with the Jesuitical agenda as well, so it's not surprising one bit. But let's read this article. It says, Pope Francis says he hopes the Vatican's provincial agreement with China on the appointment of Catholic bishops will be renewed for a second time in October. In comments to Reuters published Tuesday, the Pope said, quote, This agreement is moving well, and I hope that in October it can be renewed, unquote. The Vatican-China agreement was first signed in September 2018 and then renewed for another two years in October of 2020. The terms of the agreement have not been made public. Pope Francis spoke to Reuters about the China deal in a 90-minute interview in which he also covered his health, uh, re resignation rumors, and the overturning of Roe v. Wade interesting on that because obviously the catholic church was behind the legalization of abortion there are uh, jesuit justices uh there also was a jesuit priest i think is robert uh duran or robert darren or something like that he advocated for abortion back in the 1960s but it says here uh, in the article in september of 2021 the vatican confirmed that the sixth uh catholic bishop has been had been ordained under the agreement under the agreement's terms seven catholic bishops before the 2018 agreement have also had their positions regularized by the vatican Pope Francis said the appointment of bishops under the, the deal in China, quote, is going slowly, but they are being appointed, unquote. The slow process, he said, is, quote, the Chinese way, unquote, because the Chinese have that sense of time that nobody can rush them, unquote. Now, here's the question I want to ask. Why is the Catholic Church yoking up with the atheist communists over in China? You know, first of all, Psalms 14, 1 and Psalm 53, 1 says the, the fool says in his heart there is no God. Atheism is foolish. Secondly, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse uh, 14 down to verse 17 talks about not yoking yourself with the infidels, the unbelievers. Basically, you're not supposed to yoke yourself up with the infidels. That's what it talks about in that passage there. So why is the Catholic Church doing this? Well, it's obvious that, again, communism is a Jesuitical doctrine. That's simple. Atheism also goes in hand with the Jesuit agenda, the Illuminati agenda. So it's just simply the Vatican yoking up, uh, attempting to yoke up with uh, the communists because, well, they have that bond there. You know, the Illuminati, Jesuitical, communist agenda all goes hand in hand. So don't be deceived by this uh, just insanity. Roman Catholicism is not Christianity whatsoever. Uh, it's a Illuminati. By the way, Illuminati is obviously Jesuitical ran. Jesuit ran as well. I'll put it that way. But don't be deceived. Roman Catholicism is not Christian whatsoever. Uh, it is an Illuminati uh, witchcraft religion that is going to be the one world religion for the new world order prophesied in Revelation 13. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.